Yeah, yeah, you had to, you had to. How you Sit doing? down, I'm great, how are you? I'm grooving. Good to see you. How you doing? Good, they love that. You see, that's the woman who, when I came out, she said to her daughter, oh, that's who hosts the show. That's... <laughs> she did. I don't know, she thought I was that's Kathy Bates. That's why we dance. Yeah, you were rocking. Dance. She could, she's a rocking fool, that woman. <laughs> I was, uh, good, I, I was, uh, when you came back yeah. to say hi, I was kind of pacing, because I, uh, I you know how you take vitamins? Yeah, Sometimes you, do. you, didn't, you don't eat and you take a whole packet and you're in a hurry. Yeah. Because I'm not very good in the morning anyway. I, I'm still waking up. So I swallowed a bunch of vitamins. They kind of get lodged right here. Yeah. I swear, you, this is, you're the perfect person to tell this story to, I think. Yeah. I might help you. Go ahead. No, I may say it and you may say that was really a stupid story. But no, I this won't. is the honest truth. Okay. I once had a whole two or three packets like lodged right in here. <laughs> Just a bunch of them. You know, and I gave it one of these. Uh, yeah, yeah. I swear, I swear to God, this is the truth. Of it. And a little cloud. <laughs> but, <laughs> those, 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 those capsules, you know, they're in powder form. Yeah. They're like, oh, oh cloud. boy. And, so, and then you taste it all day when you have those vitamins. No, I pretty much got rid of those. You did? Yeah, I figured that the story was distasteful enough, so I just wanted to kind of clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> clean it up. I have the. I usually take like the chewable, like Flintstones chewables. Or oh something. yeah, well they work. But they taste good, and I figure you don't have that horrible, you know, yeah. vitamin breath that you don't have. But no, I don't. Do. I don't. His breath smells fabulous. Great, in it? case anybody was wondering. Well, ask I mean, my date. Yeah, all your your three dates right there. I chose the twist, which which I think was the right dance. I do too. For you know, if it had been the earlier girls, I don't know, we'd have done something else. But the, I think. A lot of people come out and do the shag. It's just wrong. It's wrong for this show. <laughs> it's wrong for this show. Right. There's nothing wrong with the shag. Annie McDowell's a good shagger. She is. Yeah. We're having her on in July. <laughs> <laughs> we already taped it. But oh, it's going to air in July. <laughs> yeah, but she was great. We, she's so great. She's really good in this movie. The movie is Multiplicity. It opens on July 17th. And I loved it. That's it. I Thank you. It. No, okay. no. Get out. Get back here. We have clips, we have stories, we've right. got you. You're All not right. going anywhere. You're very funny. Oh, thank you. So are you. We, we've never met, right? We never met. I we sound have like some a magician. mutual friends. No, we've never met. <laughs> <laughs> think of a number. <laughs> we have some mutual friends. We who, do? Yes. Who? Rita. <laughs> Rita. <laughs> oh, Marty, Marty Short. Marty Short, who is very funny yes, on this show. Yes. And you're, you're living in L.A., though, right? You're a big L.A. guy. Well, uh, uh, yeah. I live Got a house near, out there. In, yeah. yeah. You like New York? I love New York. Yeah. I love New York. A lot different than LA. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a lot different than anywhere, but it's just always fun. I was, uh, this is, I, I was coming, uh, uh, the first time I did, years ago, I did the David Letterman show, and I told him I was on the, and it was absolutely true, and, and what I'm about to tell you is true. I was walking through Central Park because I tried to walk whenever I come over, uh, when I used to do the show with, that he used to do in this building. And I saw the greatest New York thing, which was a squirrel, a squirrel eating a piece of pizza. <laughs> I swear to God, he was eating a piece, and it was actually a slice. I mean, he wasn't sitting there, you know, like this. It's right, right. But he was making his way around a slice of pizza pretty damn well. You see that? It's not and like acorns here. No, it's not. Well, they're probably, they, no, there are no acorns here. But uh, this time, and, the, you know, I, like the cloud, the, the vitamin thing, I'm not, I'm not lying about these stories, because I would never lie. No, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Even though you just met me, you know, you I sense I would never lie. I feel it. <laughs> the way you dance, you twisted, you're not a liar. You can tell, right? There's other guests who sit down and I think, lie and sack of crap. What right from the get -go. <laughs> Well, did they dance beforehand? No, you're the only there one you go. gutsy See, enough to yeah, dance on my right. show. I would do that multiplicity body bump that you do in the movie. Didn't do one anyway. <laughs> oh. It's kind of nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it a whole lot. It was kind of fun. <laughs> so I swear to th this time I'm coming. I, uh, I saw a crow, which you don't see a lot of in New York anyway, with a bagel, a half a sliced. <laughs> I, I'm not lying. A sliced bagel, like a half, uh, you know, sliced in half with. With one bite taken out of it, you know. So I, I kept thinking, how did that happen? Did the guy, did he s go, hey, hey? <laughs> or did he set it down? Did somebody ask him for the time and the crow still there? <laughs> I wonder at what moment that happened. How did he get the bite? Or did he, the crow come and get it and like pull it out? Of it? Or maybe he saw the hungry crow and went, I don't need the bagel. I want to give it to the crow. It's for you. The hungry crow. Exactly. It sounds like a really bad restaurant. Doesn't yeah, it, it does. <laughs> yeah. Or a horrible sitcom from the 70s. <laughs> the, the Hungry Crow, Crow, starring Karen Balaton and John Davidson. <laughs> Something like that. You'll know this.
I was just talking to Katie Couric, who just did this little dance for me. Because she was singing the song that you guys apparently sang yesterday. And she did the cutest From little Here dance. Here Come the Brides. She thought I don't she know could what stop it was. me. What's the song that Rob and Laura used to do? In a mountain greenery where God... What's that song they used to do? In a mountain greenery, Rob and Laura... You don't know that song? What are you song? talking about? Are she you... doesn't know Rob and Laura from the, from the Dick Van Dyke Show. Oh, I don't wow. think that follows the Rosie rules. Stumped Rosie. No, Michael, no, no. Stumped Rosie. Wait a minute, the rules are after 1970. Oh. I believe Dick oh, Van Dyke, 60. black and white, before. 60. You gotta have rules. 60. That's right. You're right. If you give me love American style, Petticoat Junction. Petticoat Junction. Come ride the little train that is rolling <laughs> down the track. I know them all, Michael. It's a sad fact and of my have, life. And you have the attitude, which is going to be. See. There you go. Hey. <laughs> you know, when I got my own show, people said, are you going to sing every day? I said, no, no, I'm not a singer. Have you watched? You are a singer. I belt every day. I'm and you're belting. not a bad dancer. I'm not a bad dancer. Based on a chest bump. I'm no twister. No. But a girl's got to do what, what a girl's, girl's got to do. do. We got a clip from the movie coming up. All right. We're going to chat about Thank the film. Thank you very film. much. That's it, No, then? no, no. Oh, after okay. the commercial. All right, good. We'll be back with Michael Keaton. I don't have more boys now. Oh, they're the best. Sorry, talking about our kids. <laughs> On TV, live. Oops. Anyway. This so, little kid you have coming, I understand you have uh, Katie coming from the movie. Yes, we do. Uh, you just want to grab her little face and kiss her. She's so She's cute. She's so cute in the film. And the film is really funny. You're great in the movie. The whole thing, it's a pleasure. It's a fun night at the movie. It is. It's good, isn't it? Yes, you set it up. We're going to show the clip. We're going to tell. It's like Michael is a guy who's a little. Oh, you said it. It's your show, movie. Go ahead, do it. We're really in show business. I think we I'm are. I'm setting up a clip. Isn't it weird? It's great. We were comics working we in were, some hellhole. Here hole. we are. You know, we're working at the Hungry Crow, I think. I think we were. <laughs> <laughs> With Karen Valentine. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? The movie. It's the about movie. you. You clone okay. yourself, member. This is this is a story of a man. This is a story of a man. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is a story of a contemporary. I'm looking at the camera. This is, <laughs> can we bring down the lights? This is a little story. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this is three. This is the three character. You know, who is like the world's greatest guy in this movie. Number three, who's the clone. One of the clones to handle. He t holds himself like this a lot. And just, you can be talking and he'll just say, wait a minute, let me see something. Go like this. I'm just seeing a little more volume there. <laughs> <laughs> a little more balance. But he's great. He's like this great guy. Anyway, let me, let me tell you how we get to three. This is a guy who's, who's you know, living in, in, in the world and he's overwhelmed by life and trying to be a father and a husband and um, keep his, his job going. And he decides to have himself cloned at the offer of a geneticist whom he meets. So he gets himself cloned, and it looks like everything's working out, and then it looks like everything's getting a little hectic after a while. So he has himself cloned again. Wait a minute, is this how it works? Yes, that's he has it. himself yeah, I saw cloned it. again. That's exactly right. And then what happens? Then the two clones clone themselves, and, and then there's get, four. So and then I end there's up, four, and the last right. guy is sort of a dummy. But he's great. He's cute and funny, but yeah. dumb. Well, yeah, he's dumb. He's described as a bad copy. A bad copy. Yeah, and I actually, there's two times where I admittedly, uh, admittedly uh, t lifted from Jerry Lewis, who's a good person to steal from if you're going to steal. Got to steal. I steal there's from Bette Midler every day. Yeah, well, you have good taste. That's right. There was two, there was two times in this movie where I looked at myself and I said, yeah, it's Jerry Lewis. Yep. I did him. You know what's the great, the perfect state for Jerry Lewis? What? Hawaii. How come? There's a lot of vowels. Like, where are you staying? La Hawaii in that. <laughs> I'm saying to Mahan Lahaina. <laughs> you ever do that to him? Have you ever met him? I've never met that him. That would be hysterical well, to walk up to him and do though. that. He yeah. is funny. Jerry, Maybe. where you stand? Yeah. The Kahawan Lahaina. <laughs> well, we're going to roll a clip multiplicity, Michael. <laughs> but, as we all know, that rule doesn't hold true, does it? Well, I don't think we should spoil it for the kids out there. Oh, but that's a little tease. Perhaps that rule doesn't uh, hold true. <laughs> then it can't make me test. <laughs> but it's a very funny movie. Was Thanks. it impossible to, you mean, it's so taxing for you to do all those characters? You had blue screen, is that how they did yeah, it? Yeah, 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 lots of that and lots of uh, other amazing technical things. That this guy, Richard Edlund from Boss Films, has been nominated four times for Academy Award. Uh, and Harold Ramis, see, Harold has a, Harold's a gr really, gr first of all, one of the smartest guys I know, and, and a really good comedy director. So he he understood a lot more of this technical stuff than I did. And, right. And I didn't really want to know too much of it or understand too much of it. It was just hard. Yeah. But fun. 
And Andy McDowell plays your wife. Yeah. That's a great movie. And a little guy named Zach, who we, we should also mention, plays my son. And Ann Cusack's really funny. Harris Yulin's in it. He's really, really good. Everybody's good. This Everybody's is really Everybody's good in the movie. Everybody's Go good. Go see it. Idaho. Tell me a story about Idaho. I don't have one. You don't? No. Are you sure? It's a liar. Who told, oh, whoever told you said, that it's a liar. So look at our little, what's our stage manager, what he did. Hold oh, that. I know what they're talking about. I was Andy. out doing, I was out in a, out the, there's a shoot, I was out doing a little uh, fishing just before I came here. Yeah, and, uh, in Idaho. Yeah. That's why they told me to ask you. That's why. Go ahead. I, that's the association. Yeah. And uh, I know a guy out there who's truly a mountain man. He's a, uh, he's a friend of mine, and I see him on But he goes into the mountains for many months at a time and works. He runs a sheep camp up there. So you, so imagine a big beard, a lot of beard, and a lot of hair. Unabomber and, guy. Uh, not on, you know, a look, a, a Unabomber look. look. OK. Not in personality. No. He's a terrific guy. But he's got that Unabomber look going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. And um, they were shooting a movie. They're shooting a movie out there. And, and uh, everybody's talking about, yeah, Bob Redford's out here doing a movie and uh, shooting right down the thing. And that was the news of the town where I was. That, you know, they were out shooting a movie. And I swear to God, this is what he said. I said, oh, yeah? He said, yeah, of course. They, uh, we're, I'm sitting in the bar having a drink with him. And he says, uh, yeah, but they had a uh, shut down production, I heard. I said, oh, really? I didn't say anything, and he just said, yeah, <laughs> I swear to you, he said, I heard they had script problems. <laughs> 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 this is a guy who lives in the woods for four months. Yeah, I heard they had script problems. <laughs> Second act didn't work or something, I don't know. <laughs> I had to have another beer and blow up something. <laughs> <laughs> Multiplicity, it opens July 17th. Great movie. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice really to meet you. Really nice. You're a great actor. <laughs>